It originally started with me being his driver, right? So I'm taking him to all the podcasts, and that's how that's how I started like getting the report with people. Like I was always in the background, and then um, Channel Five one time put me in the front. Like yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gonna talk. It's on up here because the South is a little different, but it's like, man, you be killing it every time you, uh, Crib Mac, C Mac. I mean, I be like, man, they getting to it, man. So money money money. Catch hood. And a real home girl, everybody hit your loop, play. So, how did y'all even start even getting in the front of a, you know, like audience for us podcasting, for us just being interviewed? How did that even start? Well, it originally started with me being his driver, right? So I'm taking him to all the podcasts, and that's how that's how I started like getting the report with people. Like I was always in the background, and then um, Channel Five one time put me in the front. Like I came out, of, that was the first time. I became, I went to the front. Channel 5 with, uh, Talk more into Channel 5, you know, ch uh, Channel 5 uh, with Andrew Callahan. I don't know if you've seen that show. No, I didn't see it, but. You haven't seen it? No. But have you seen his podcast? I mean, his uh, channel? No. You need to look at it. It's really good. He really? just came out on a jumper. So he's the first one that put me on. But I was already going in a jumper, and they already knew me, but I never went in the front, you know, because I was always his driver. But being with C-Mac, every day we did content for his channel. So I was always doing the recording and doing the content. So that's how people already knew who I was because he was posting me on his YouTube channel. You know, whatever we did, we went, went to go eat, we record each other because we're just funny, bro. We just be talking back and forth. It's just funny. Like when he calls me in the morning, he just makes me laugh. Every As soon as he calls me, bro, he calls me like early in the morning. He has his little routine. He calls the same people every day, first thing in the morning. How did you meet C-Mac? Um, through the hood, basically. I'm, I'm from 46, he's from 5'5", five five, and we got the same homies, but I'm older than him, so I used to like sell tacos in front of his, one of his homies' shop. I, I started with, with the, I had my own business with selling food, mm -hmm. and like he asked my homie like about me, and then once he found out I was green, then he asked me for a ride, and then it, it, I did a TikTok, we did a TikTok, and that shit went viral, and then I was like, we need, because I told him when I, when I would call him, like, man, we need to do a TikTok, I know it's gonna go viral. You know, he wasn't doing TikTok, you know, no dancing video. But once he got with me, I started, we started doing different things, bro. And that TikTok is what made me record him all the time and do different things with him. Before you got a TikTok or, or before he approached you, did you know who he was? I knew who he was, but not like not to the capacity of what people seen him as. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like my son, that was his fan. So he kind of told me that was his fan. That's what made me talk to him more okay. you know what i'm saying because I, I i really wanted to meet him for my son but when i met him he just i got in my car and i gave him a ride and it was that was it bro <laughs> and, it, and it wasn't even like oh he's trying to get at me he just like i don't know we just gravitated towards each other mm -hmm. yeah we on boss talk one-on-one one -on -one. yeah we gonna talk